what's going on everybody it's ETA Prime back here again today we're going to be taking a look at something really awesome something I've been wanting to get on the channel for a while now basically because I'm a huge fan of robots and the Raspberry Pi and with this unit here we've got a freaking Raspberry Pi powered robot that is absolutely amazing I've actually had this for about a month and I've been playing around with this thing every single day this is from a company known as Direct Drive Tech and this is Diablo so what we have here is the world's first direct drive self-balancing wheel leg robot. So we've got wheels and we've got legs. It's got adjustable height. Obviously, it's got gyros in it. And everything's running from a Raspberry Pi 4. But we also have a controller board to control the direct drive units here. And uh, overall, I mean, this thing has been so much fun. It's constructed of steel, aluminum, plastic, and real carbon fiber. And with this model here, you manually control it with a controller, but the company is working on an AI model. They do have a few different prototypes. It's powered by direct drive motors, and there's six of them in total. So we've got two for the head tilting mechanism, two for the crouch or the height adjustment, and two inside of the wheels for movement. Taking a look around back, we've got a battery indicator here with this LED, safe shutdown switch, and on the bottom we've got our charge jack. And if you take a look right in the middle of the unit, you can see the massive battery that it uses. And there's a bunch of different modes that we can use this in, but in creeping mode, which is its lowest mode, it'll actually carry 80 kilograms, which is equivalent to around 176 pounds, which is pretty amazing. Now, inside of the giant case it came in, we also got this smaller case. We've got uh, a few little extras over here, safe shutdown keys, a couple extra parts, a couple extra screws, just in case I needed to repair anything. And we've got the controller. This all runs in a 2.4 gigahertz system, so range really isn't an issue. I'm not exactly sure how far we can take it away from the controller, but I've kind of run it way down the road. I got a little worried that it might go out of range, but I mean, it was definitely far enough that I really couldn't even see the unit anymore. And what I consider to be one of the coolest things about Diablo here, it's actually powered by a Raspberry Pi 4. Now, right behind the Raspberry Pi 4, we've got the controller board for those direct drive motors. And basically, the Pi 4 is connected to the controller board through the GPIO pins. So heading over to their website, they do have a few different attachments. As you can see from this uh, little video here, the front on it does look a bit different from the one I have here. And this has the GPS module and anti-collision module installed on that one. But uh, scrolling down a bit more, we get some more information about it. They provide an open SDK, so if you wanted to modify anything or add modules of your own, you could always do it driven by six of those direct drive motors. It operates at 49 dB, so it's really quiet when it's running. These aren't super loud motors in here. Large capacity battery, and I believe they might have these swapped because they're saying four hours of high speed, 40 minutes of low speed. I think that's kind of swapped there, but yeah, I've actually been averaging about two and a half hours between low and high speed with this unit, which is really good runtime on something like this. Two operation modes, we've got that creeping mode, it'll carry up to 80 kilograms, 176 pounds. And in high speed or full standing mode, it'll carry 4 kilograms. You can't tip this thing over if you try, and we'll uh, take a look at it running in just a second. But there's a top cargo area, you can add different modules there. Head tilting motor, leg crouching, got these auxiliary wheels here. So when it's in crouching mode and you want to carry 80 kilograms, it's not going to kind of bottom out and scrape everything up programmable and open development platform. You can program through Python. Again, they've got that full SDK available. Standing mode, squatting mode, creeping mode. Lots of great information over on their website. If you're interested in checking it out, I will leave a link in the description, but I want to show you what this thing can really do. So I've actually been running this thing quite a bit in my house and my wife got a little upset with me. I haven't scratched anything up yet or crashed it, but uh, she just gets a little worried about it because it is pretty heavy. It's actually 22 kilograms with that battery installed and obviously we've got full control over it with the included remote and in low speed mode you can actually make this thing jump which is pretty cool to see it do given that we only have two wheels here totally self-balancing and like i mentioned i mean if i went up to this and tried to kind of kick it over it's not going to go over now i'm sure we could kind of make this thing face plant if we jumped it off a curb or something like that but overall this thing is really really steady and I'm going to go to jumping mode now, so we need to turn it to low speed. But as you can see, this thing will jump, and it'll even jump while it's moving. But yeah, overall, I've been having a blast with this. My kids love it, and uh, I mean, it's kind of like a little bit of a pet. I wish I had the AI module for it, so it would kind of follow me around. 
but right now just using this controller is pretty awesome. I even attached a little wagon to it to pull the kids around the neighborhood. And yeah, I mean, it'll definitely do it. Given that in crouching mode, we can do up to 170 pounds, so it wasn't an issue whatsoever to pull the smaller kids around. And if you take a look at their website, they do have a few different use case scenarios for something like this. I mean, obviously a little delivery bot would be pretty cool. Now inside of an office, it would be really awesome to kind of move mail around and stuff like that, especially with their AI module attached to this. And with that module, it utilizes GPS and different sensors, so it's not going to run into anybody, and it knows exactly where it is at all times. But again, I don't have that, and I wish they would have sent it over with the unit. But they're still working on a bit of a prototype with that. Hopefully, in the future, we can get the full-blown model with that full faceplate. I think that would be pretty awesome to see what this thing could do. But even just a follow system would be great for this. In one of their promotional videos, they do have one of these with a LiDAR system attached to the top of it, which is really awesome, kind of mapped out this whole building. And in another one, they do show you how well this thing can balance. Now, personally, I haven't kicked it from the side, but I did kind of push it from the front and back just to see if I can make it fall over, but it definitely self-balances itself. And it does look like they've put some of these through kind of a tortured test. Poor little robot, but it gets right back up. Now, initially, when receiving Diablo, I wanted to be really careful with it, and I still am. I mean, I'm not throwing it around like they are, but you can see that more than not, it does kind of balance itself out, and even if it does fall over, it'll self-correct. I went ahead and just strapped a GoPro to the one I have just to show you how agile it is. And I kind of jammed this thing around the uh, parking lot here for a while. Actually, was out there for about an hour and a half. I didn't have battery die on me or anything like that. And one thing that my youngest son suggested was kind of adding a face to this. So I went with an older Pixel phone that I had laying around. I kind of strapped it to the front. I've got an app here that it's just basically robot eyes. And I do think it looks pretty cute like this. Got a little bit of blinking going on. Would be cool to have this integrated with the uh, controller system. That way the eyes would move while you're moving in certain directions. But for now, I do think it gives it a little more. So yeah, overall, we've been having a lot of fun with this. I love the fact that it's powered by a Raspberry Pi and to see this self-balancing in action is pretty amazing. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. If I can get a hold of some different modules for Diablo, I will be testing them out. And if there's anything you'd like to see with this, just let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in learning a little more, I'll leave a link to the official website. And like always, thanks for watching.